Um, yeah, I guess that you have to isolate what, in fact, is, you know, what a studio mean. And, and uh, I guess for me, it's a, it's, it's a place uh, uh, where, where you think about what you're going to do and possibly do it. I, I just came across a great new term last night being a, uh, an addict now of the new BBC, so not you, but it's old Sherlock. Yeah, and he, you know, he's such a... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's such a sociopath, I love him. Uh, anyway, he says, you know, just leave me, I have to go to my, th my, my, my think tank. We mean this brain. <laughs> and yeah, it's a place where you are alone with your thoughts. And it, it, it could be anywhere. I mean, uh, uh, if you're actually making stuff, yeah, you need space. Uh, if you're not making stuff, you don't need space. Uh, I mean, if you uh, you know, have the wherewithal to, to have people do your work, other people need space, uh, you know, on and on and on. So, but I, I, I think it's, it's about wearing a hat uh, I, at one point, I, I never always wore the same hat until I went to sleep at night. But then I realized maybe it was better that when I, at a certain point, maybe, you know, in the evening, I might take off the, the work hat and put on, you know, a, this living life hat. Uh, and that's a tough decision to make. Uh, for me, it came down to where I would locate my studio. Uh, if I lived in my studio, which I did for many years, and then I was never stopping. Uh, if I lived too far away, then it's pretty easy not to go to your studio that day. So you got to get it just about right. So you can you can go to your studio, and I have it down to a 10-minute drive. And if I don't go to my studio, then I'm just being stupid, you know, and lazy. <laughs> I can't say, well, I don't feel well, or this or that, or whatever. So yeah, I, I, I think it's about isolating yourself. And when I said uh, about b being in your studio, I think when the push comes to shove, I, I think the job for an artist is being in his or her studio. It's that simple. And all the rest is accoutrement. Then where is the post studio? Well, the, 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 the post-studio, again, that's a, such a nebulous term that, you know, that means, you know, means everything and, and nothing. At the time, I, what I meant it to mean was not painting, mm. <laughs> where you didn't have a, a room full of easels with canvases on us or, you know, a lot of sculptural equipment around. It, it wasn't that. It mm. was something else. And I didn't know what it was. I, knew, I just knew there was something else out there, but I, and I wasn't alone. A lot of people in the world, you know, who were having the same sort of doubts. Uh, and uh, so it was about, we had a room we, where we met. Uh, one of our favorite activities was to meet in the morning and I would have a map of LA up on the wall and somebody would throw a dart at the map and we would go there. And that's where the studio was that day. <laughs> And we would just do whatever, you know, and stupid things. Like I remember one, I, I, I wish I could repress it, but I don't. So, uh, we were, I think, at Farmer's Market or somehow, and this one guy dragging a dead chicken around, you know, by, by a string and a snake around Farmer's Market and photographing it. And I said, whatever. <laughs> I was in National City. Yeah. <laughs> it, you know, it's not the garden spot of the wall of the world. It's you know, it's it's what's that other word starts with an A? Uh, and and uh, uh, I, that, I said, well, I, I knew two other artists there, and we shared each other's. You know, we showed each other work, and so looking back, I I thought I was doomed to hell. I was just going to teach in high school all my life and have a family and live and paint on weekends. Uh, but the liberating thing looking back was nobody was watching, so I could do anything I wanted. Uh, and, uh, and so I decided, well, you know, this is really a dump where I live, and, but 
that's going to be my subject matter, and I just start taking photographs of, you know, around National City, and then that became the bait. We, I guess my idea was, you know, warts and all art, you know, I wasn't going to prettify what I was doing and, and, and make, it, make it into art, it's just going to be National City. Uh, I, I think I was a late starter, or got a late start, and, and I probably in my early 30s before I began to really get any kind, you know, any kind of attention at all. Uh, so I, you know, I, I did have that benefit, and, and a lot of artists now that are considered my peers, they're actually much younger than me, you know, they, but they were living in New York, nas not National City. Uh, so I, that's the way I explain that away. <laughs> uh, and and uh, 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 I, I think there's a danger now of, I don't know if it's a danger, maybe it's not a danger, but it's very easy to get attention overnight. Mm -hmm. Very easy. Uh, and you can get young artists made almost like they're made in the laboratory. Uh, and, and one day they're nothing, next day they're showing in the biggest gallery in the world. Uh, and that can be pretty upsetting to not only to the artists, but it makes you wonder uh, about the durability of art. I, I mean, if you can have artists who replicate it one after another, uh, how long are they going to be around? Maybe the long time. We, we don't know. We, yeah. we just don't know. But but it's 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 something new on the scene. I think I lot learned a lot just by teaching at Cal Arts. Well, well teaching in general, but a lot. Uh, I, I, you know, I, it seemed like I was fated to support myself by teaching. So I decided to make teaching as much like art as I could. You know, it should be fun for myself, and then it might be fun for the students as well, uh, hopefully. Uh, and uh, uh, I, I think then what, the, what Mike said about he never seemed to talk about art, that's kind of telling, uh, because what, you know, what I, what I, what I, I think my approach was to, to aim for not meeting the student at the student's level, where they, not being so obtruse that they didn't know what the hell you were talking about it, and not simplifying it so that it was like pap, but you know, to, trying to be challenging in in some way. Uh, and I and and I think I went about it in a very enigmatic way, uh, making allusions, telling stories, asking questions, and I. I'm obviously do my crazy, uh, which is what I was trying to do. <laughs> um, he's quoting Bruce Nauman, uh, who said, I am an artist, and so everything I do in my studio is art. Yes. And the question is, would you agree with that? Oh, of course. You just have to convince people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you yeah, know, serious question, and, and I... I wish I could give an, an answer to it that was consistent anyway. Uh, you know, ideas can come from anywhere. You know, some, I find a lot of times, you know, at 3 o'clock in the morning when I can't sleep, you know, or in the shower, sometimes I just overhear a remark. Uh, I, just, uh, I just read something that your quote of mine I guess I kind of still abide by uh, where I said, you know, give the choice between an intelligent idea and a stupid idea, I'm going to choose the stupid idea. <laughs> uh, I probably would still do that. I don't know. I, I just, anywhere, I don't know where it comes from. Yeah. Uh, but I guess it's like, it's either that or you die. And so, you know, you, so your mind is always working. Well, first of all, uh, you know, when I'm confronted with that question, uh, you know, I, I, it troubles me a bit because I never think of myself being a humorous artist. Uh, I think I, I tend to see the world a bit askew, uh, uh, but that's very serious. Uh, and, and, and maybe as a result of that, it, to other people it seems humorous. Uh, 
I look at my current work and uh, I don't know whether it's humorous or not. Uh, I was talking to somebody earlier and I uh, about how it's mostly text. Uh, and I, I think I started that way back in the mid 60s where I was a national city and nobody cared. I just started doing works that were text. And, I, and that sort of continued on because I've always had a love of words and reading. Uh, and I've said that I consider a word an image of equal weight and interchangeable. Uh, and uh, I like the idea that I can get people to pay money post theoretically for text. It's like a poet getting paid. This art that I just was talking about, I mean, it doesn't even speak to me. I, I, it's, it has spoken, you know. <laughs> I mean, you know, and, and that's what makes arts endure, but it continues to speak. Mm -hmm. and that's a real test. It, it just dawned on me that maybe something can be learned 